Hi guy, today we're going to have a look at the brand new issue of Retro Gamer and it's number 160. Now uh, I'm a subscriber, this has literally just dropped through the uh, door today. It's, I don't think it's out in the shops for a couple of days at least. But as you can see from the cover there, it's quite a nice, neat one. Nintendo's 3D Game Changer. Nice hit squad symbol at the top there, I think they were owned by uh, Ocean. And when they bought the Imagine label, I'm not sure. I'm quick. I'm only going to have a flip through, I'm not going to read it all to you. <laughs> right, uh, da -da -da. let's get through the contents. I usually read these. Uh, to and from, we're back to work. Flashback to the future, oh, they're doing another range of them consoles. That one does look quite interesting. Winter is coming, oh, midwinter article. Introducing Biff I hope that means he's going to be a regular. He's uh, doing the digitizer uh, uh, website of late. He's just going to search that online. It's actually, I can't remember the link, I'm afraid, offhand. Space Invaders, Dormant Series to Return, Collector's Corner. That's actually uh, pretty neat. Bloody hell, I wonder how much weight them shelves will take. Anyway, latest news from November 99. I don't really like them articles, but it's not something I've ever really been into. But uh, I think they did, yeah, they finished the 80s uh, last year. Pop I've never even seen that before. 3D Changer, is that John Pickford? I can't tell. It is! <laughs> anyway, flicking through. Mario's Marvel's Moves. Uh, What's that? M Mara, Mara Glider, Mara Glider. Never heard of it before. Looks a bit like it's Nemesis style graphics in a way. No, it's not. More like Commando. Ninja Baseball Batman. Mm, I do, I do like that. That's a very nice shot when it's blown up in the mag. Yeah, Hit Squad article. We're going through all the games. Cool World. I think that was a terrible, terrible film as well. Bloody hell, 122 titles, that's a bleeding lot. No idea. Um, Double Dragon, Story of Four, a very good game. I've never been able to get very far in it beyond uh, three or four hours. That does look absolutely awesome. Some a very nice cover. Oh, look at that. And I like that effect there with the flames off to the side. Tex Murphy series, again, not something I've really played. Uh, Stop the Express, that's quite a good game. What's this? Amstrad 6128 Plus, I've never even heard of that as a system, but, but anyway, it's in there if you're interested. Fluff, that's a pretty good game. Did I do a video on that? I can't remember. Uh, let's go on, let's go on. iToy, this was, this was crap and awesome at the same time. I'm actually, never mind, I'm thinking of the PS3 one because I had it with an eye of judgment. Uh, which I quite enjoyed, but it never really went anywhere. Beyond the games, uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, just uh, look at some of the time stuff there. Super Scramble Simulator, that's a Spectrum game. That does look quite nice, actually. I'll have to try that later. Making of Frostbite. I actually. Uh, Played this back in the day on the 2600. It uh, was terrible. <laughs> oh, well, I suppose if you want to read about it, there it is. House of the Dead article. I also played that back in the day. That was amazing. One of my all time favourite gun games. Uh, oh, GameCube special. Damien McFerrin, I think he used to write um, for the Nintendo. World or something on Nintendo. He's a pretty well known writer, anyway. Anyway, uh, GameCube article. Interview with Glenn Corpse. He's worked on the Amiga to the mobile. I'm afraid I don't know who he is. Who he is. He worked on Populous and then well, Bullfog style games. Then yeah, he was at Bulldog. Anyway, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. Bandit, that's quite a nice looking colour. Pac-Man Champion Edition, I never even played the first one, so number two won't appeal. 
What's this? Master of Orion. What's that? Oh. Anyway, just, I always read that reading the mag then, bloody hell. Mercenaries, that does look quite a nice looking game. Anyway. Uh, ancient Legends. Oh. I'm practically reading the mag. Sorry guys, I just meant to be flicking through to show off what's in it, but next month, Sin... I can't even read that. Prepare for Sinus... Sinus... Ugh. <laughs> Well, it's rares anyway, and it's coming to VR. I'll probably do a video of that. Uh, what's this? Sega Archive. Imagine shot. Oh, I might have to have a look at that anyway. Some uh, usual adverts in the back. I never really tend to read them. Oh, there's another Worms game out. Bloody hell, does that ever die, that series? And Ridge Racer 4 signs off. A gaming advert on the back. Anyway, so that's the <laughs> new issue with Retro Gamer. It's uh, not a bad one, actually. Uh, number 160, bloody hell, 160 issues. I mean, I started way, way, way back with uh, issue one. I actually picked it up fresh in a, a news agent when I was back in college. Bloody hell, 14, 15 years ago? Bloody hell, I'm ancient. What can I say? Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching and please look forward to another video soon.